Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So, Chriselle was just announced, uh, I think it was yesterday, that she will be our new figure for the week, possibly um, more or less uh, on Friday this week. So, as you can see here, she is uh, under Tenma and uh, she is actually a militarist. So, let's check out um, her skills uh, and also her possible synergy within the game. Okay, so the figure story strategy guide, I'll be putting a link in the description of this video so that you may review this. But I'll go over this um, on Crow Cell's evaluation and performance. I was able to preview this as um, most probable to drop. Um, this week, so I was uh, I was right uh, partly of that we're expecting another figure to you know to arrive as well But let's focus first on Crocell. So evaluation for Crocell is a 8 out of 10. So we're trying to determine whether she's worth pulling because um, Tenma it kind of ha already has a DPS queen in terms of uh, a militarist, which is um, Zerola. So let's determine whether you still need Crucell if you if you already have Zerola in your roster. So she is going to be rated a tier A. Uh, I guess this is dependent on the server again. So this is based on the Japanese server. So we're in global. So we might need her more in global than she is ranked. In, she is ranked A in J the Japanese server. So as you can see, she is going to be very good in PvE. Especially, um, I've seen a preview of her skill, especially when you have a lot of, um, a lot of units on the other side. Um, like mobs, for example. She will be very useful there. So I'll, I'll explain later why I think uh, she's going to be good at that. So PvP as well. She's going to be good, uh, but excellent in PvE. So let's um, take a look at uh, more of her um, skills, guys. So for her attack skill, it's a range of 6. Attack speed is going to be 5, which is fantastic. So priority is given to the, the front enemy in the same row as her so increases normal attack damage by 25 for level 2 and level 3 is another 25 which is a total of 50 uh, percent as for her ultimate skill so energy is uh, initial energy is going to be 50 curse for the first eight seconds during the time it deals continuous damage every second the curse will not be lifted so she's going to be a damage over time unit so when she applies it, um, trickle damage comes in for the next 8 seconds. It's usually damage per second. So if you want to level up this one, when you and you're, when you are an ally attacks a cursed unit, there's a 25% chance that you will inflict a 22% freeze damage on the target's um, surrounding enemies. So this is going to be good. She's going to be more used for crowd control. And at level 3, curse damage increases by 9% per second and accumulates up to 72% damage amount is reset when interrupted. So, um, as you all can picture out in her ultimate skill, she's built really for crowd control. Um, similar, to, similar to Rimuru, I think, but she's going to be, again, competing with... Uh, competing with Zarola in that militarist Tenma role. Okay, for her passive, it's called God's Announcement. Crocell's normal attack marks the target and enemies around it, dealing continuous damage. After the mark, enemy activates a skill. Crocell deals freeze damage to that enemy and is her normal attack target. So again, a good AoE splash damage built within her passive a level up effect so for level two increases damage dealt to cursed enemies by 120 percent according to god's announcement when the mark target dies crocell deals additional damage to the current normal attack and extends the duration of the mysterious curse by 1.5 seconds so again both ultimate and passive skill is 
link to crowd control and aoe damages and damage over time so that's a lot actually i believe that she is complementary to tenma she doesn't necessarily need to compete with uh, vazarin so definitely you will need to get her um because there are now stages really dedicated to only tenma teams exclusive skill increases damage dealt by 15 percent where there are when there are no enemies around so level up effect increases on attack by 5% to enemies of compatible manuf manufacturers by 10 and increase damage dealt by 25% when there are no enemies around. Okay, so again, as my review of her skill, she will be complementary to um, Zorola. You don't necessarily have to choose between them, but she is geared to watch towards more um, crowd control in uh, some of the stages that you'll be using her Okay, so explanation of features of Cresel mysteriously it doesn't last every second when an ally attack when an ally attack it freezes around the target Okay, rage continuous damage occurs during normal attack Okay, so continuous damage is triggered when you do a normal attack It is recommended to mark as many enemies as possible if you want to earn damage effectively try to arrange as many enemy marks as possible when organizing the greater the number mark the more likely that it will that it is that the frequency and sustained damage when activating enemy skill will increase so marks definitely increases um damage so try to mark as many enemies as you can so as for synergy here, um, recommended formation. The ones that I agree here the most is going to be Sunny or Sani, S A N I. As, as, as spelling here is different. So Sani, you can reduce the freeze resistance of all enemies, which is actually tied to her to her skill. So attack multiple at once with mysterious range. So you can combo both. So hopefully we could use Sani together with Crocell in some of the teams, especially for freeze teams. I'm actually excited to put to Hugh Sani um, since she came out, but definitely I think she will have a more um, more synergy with Crocell when Crocell comes out. And the other one is going to be um, Zephyr. So she will definitely be supply accelerated energy and freezing is given to two random bodies when the mysterious. Mysteries is activated. So this is this pertains to Zephyr. So she also provides freeze uh, freezing um, to, in your teams as well. So these two could be good. Um, but these two, Sunny and Zephyr, will definitely be more complementary to what she does as a core. Okay, so for your equipment set, definitely um her ultimate is going to be a i don't i wouldn't mind uh, using an attack set for her it's just that the attack set is just is just to apply something or to apply a mark or to apply damage over time so you don't necessarily need to put an attack put attack set on her um i think the most important would be ultimate set which i think should be very compatible to her skill set so the others here i'm not gonna be going over the badges and everything and she has a she has um skins as well this is her initial um initial skin the one that we're going to get it's not actually a skin it's what she's designed to look like but this one the other one looks kind of good so we'll just have to wait if this drops together with uh, with her with Crocell when she drops this week. Okay, so those are my my uh, opinions on Crocell on her kit. She's definitely going to be working together with Zarola. Um, together, I think they would be a great team. Zarola giving tons of damage and her controlling crowd. And I think she is a dark horse in in this one. She can be good right now with uh, with the state of global and additional firepower can't hurt. But 
at this point, Tenma will really have good DPS when it comes to Militarist. And if you add Crucell, well, they're going to be, I think, be back on top in terms of their competition with Let's Red. So hopefully you guys have, um, you know, have um, have taken notes of what I mentioned about of my of my you know first impressions of her and um if you want to ask me if i will you know um summon for her definitely yes um again there are a lot of content right now that is geared towards brand or faction so definitely right now for tenma they will need her to clear um counter strike final counter strike stages uh, she's really, really going to be helpful in terms of AOE damage and crowd control. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far. So those are my initial assessments or evaluations on Crossell. So hoping that you guys, you know, um, had, um, you know, uh, had um, taken note of what I mentioned. And it's really up to you if you want to add her to your arsenal or are you going to be skipping her because you are contented with having Zorola already in your roster? So anyway, guys, uh, again, uh, if you're still here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.